Hello, and thanks for tuning in to episode number two of Free Woman on the Land TV. My name is Lana, and I am your host, Free Woman on the Land. Today is April 24th, 2013. And in today's episode, we are going to be debunking the news. Hold on to your hats. This is a good one. This will make you think. The information available regarding the Speed Freak Killers, Wesley Sherman Tyne Jr. and Lauren Joseph Herzog. It says that they killed upwards of 70 people. So I just want to read what this says here. It says um, that they're classified as serial killers, thrill killers, and they kill, you know, basically because they are on drugs, okay? So the victim profile, one, two, three, they got four people on here that they were actually convicted of, um, convicted of killing here. And it says uh, their methods were uh, shooting and stabbing with a knife. That's how they kill people. Okay, so <laughs> what gets me, it says California investigators believe that the lethal pair of speed freak killers may have killed as many as 20 people. But yet they weren't convicted of killing as many as 20 people. That's just an opinion. It's just a belief. There's no fact behind that. Over the years, Sherman Tyne told relatives and acquaintances that he had made people disappear uh, around the outskirts of Stockton. And again, that's rumor. That's conjecture. Um, it's just opinion. More opinion, basically. So, um, in a confrontation with one woman in a trailer park, Testa, I'm going to find out who Testa is. Testa said, uh, Sherman Tyne told her, quote, listen to the heartbeats of people I've uh, buried here. Listen to the heartbeats of families I've buried here. Um, Sherman Tyne has been charged with only four murders. That of Paul Cavanaugh, Howard King, these are both in 84, and Chevelle Miller, uh, we, Chevelle, Chevy Wheeler, 16 of Stockton in 1985. And Cindy Vander Hayden, 25, of Clements, East Stockton, in 1998. So the first two victims were found shot to death. And the tracks at the scene matched the tires of Sherman Tyne's pickup truck. Okay, it says he's got a pickup truck there. And this is on Murderpedia, murderpedia.org. Oh, goodness gracious, the more I read, the more bizarre it just gets here. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. They went to trial, Herzog went to trial uh, in August 2001 for the murders of... Cindy Vander, he Vander Hayden, Howard King, Paul Cavanaugh, Robert Armtrout, and Henry Howell. Okay, he had a trial and was convicted of murder. During his opening statement, Testa was, I guess, his attorney. Testa admitted that the prosecution did not have conclusive evidence that Herzog had actually committed any murders but insisted that he was nonetheless also guilty of the crimes, either as a principal or accomplice. Much of the same evidence heard at Sherman Tyne's trial was also heard at Herzog's. So, okay. I want to note this, that they weren't even given a jury trial. It says, the people think that Lauren Herzog might be able to pull the wool over the eyes of the jury, Testa said in court. I mean, I'm really, I'm shaking my head here because I, I don't understand exactly what's going on. Uh, this is just really, really bizarre. I'm really wondering why these two young men are actually in prison. Okay, this is a site called Angel Fire. Angelfire.com. 
and Chevelle Wheeler, date of birth, October 27, 1968, date missing, October 16, 1985. What I found interesting about this is that it says she attended Lincoln High School, where she was last seen getting into a red pickup truck. Okay, remember that, red pickup truck at Lincoln High School. Okay, I found this uh, very interesting. This is blogcollector.com. Speed Freak Colors. I find this interesting because it says, in California, when California repo man Don Davenport repossessed an 85 Toyota Cressida from Wesley Sherman Tyne. So, we're saying that this First, it was a pickup truck that he was driving around in. It was a pickup truck that matched the tire tracks where the two so-called drifters were killed. Don't even get me started on the drifters, so-called, you know, driving around in a car. It's really not the definition of a drifter. But nonetheless, the drifters were killed. The evidence to support the fact that these two men were responsible were tire tracks from a pickup truck but yet a Toyota Cressida was repossessed so let's see RecordNet says that earlier this year authorities found body parts of four bodies two of which were identified as teenage girls who had disappeared more than 25 years ago. Authorities identified Cindy Vander Hayden, 25, who had disappeared, and Chevelle Wheeler, who had disappeared in 85, when they searched a remote Calaveras County property once owned by Sherman Tyne's family. Now let's go forward. I remember hearing this uh, on the news that um, the body parts of uh, possibly Chevelle Wheeler had been found uh, in that well up in Linden. And as of uh, today, no body parts have actually been found. So my question is pretty basic. According to uh, uh, True Crime TV, uh, Wesley Sherman Tyne was a rapist. He uh, raped and murdered uh, Chevelle Wheeler. Uh, according to published reports but my question is is how do you meet the elements of rape when there is no female to come forward and claim rape and there is no body at the time uh, to claim as being a, a victim of all this so it, it doesn't add up uh, I, I am here asking questions I don't have any answers I just think that it's very strange that these two young men ended up in jail and the FBI has uh, got some very valuable property that would otherwise belong to uh, this uh, Sherman Tyne gentleman. Um, I'm out. I don't know what else to say. I, if you guys have got any clues out there as to exactly what the heck is going on, or if there's anybody out there in Linden, California that wants to contact me on Free Woman on the Land TV, please let me know if you have any information. You can remain 100% anonymous. I just want to know. I want my questions answered. I have uh, the right to know. Good luck to you.